you can find that better than I can. Flip that on as soon as you get it on. Oops, sorry. Sorry.
Good afternoon and welcome. Would you please rise in honor of the class of 2022? Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. It is with great pleasure that I have the opportunity to talk on behalf of these amazing individuals. We have finally made it to graduation, an accomplishment that we should all be proud of. Every teacher would admit, we are the favorite class. From the academic talent our grade possessed, the incredible plays and musicals performed, and the athleticism we showed on the field, Everyone knew our class was special. As we moved into high school, all the teachers had high expectations for us. Looking back, I believe we fulfilled them. We made our future a priority, whether that was learning a trade or doing our best in class every day. Each and every one of us has formed amazing friendships with teachers and staff while also being there to lead the underclassmen through their high school journey. From the scared group of freshmen that walked through the doors in 2018 to the group standing in front of, sitting in front of me today, I know the success of our class will not end here. 
I cannot thank the teachers and staff enough for everything they have done, and thank you all for the memories we have created at our time at Fremont High School. I wish everyone the best of luck, and I'm sure we will be missed just as much as we will miss everyone else. Today, I have the honor of passing down the class president's gavel to Reagan Rose. It is my pleasure as president of the class of 2022 to continue the traditional passing of the gavel. The gavel is passed from the current graduating class to the upcoming class in tradition of the Soaring Eagle. This gavel represents our past, present, and future achievements. The tassel of the class of 2022 has been added in honor of this year's graduates. On behalf of the class of 2022, I proudly pass this gavel on to Reagan Rose, president of the class of 2023. On behalf of the class of 2023, I proudly accept this gavel and congratulate the class of 2022. The Fremont High School Band, under the direction of Miss, Mrs. Melissa Springer, will present Beetlejuice, arranged by Douglas E. Wagner. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce this year's honor students. Please hold your applause until all students in each group have been recognized. The National Honor Society is the nation's premier organization to 
recognize outstanding high school students. More than just an honor roll, NHS serves to honor those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. This year's National Honor Society members are Katie Baker, Lana Banks, Ethan Bach, Logan Brooks, Alexander Chilinski, Autumn Chilinski, Jagger Cope, Morgan Gannon, Isaac Hershey, Elise Kiesberg, Kayla McCullough, Nicholas Miller, Nicole Palmer, Jada Lynn Roanhouse. Janessa Ritter, Kaylin Schlotman, Joshua, Joshua Sherbandi, and Connor Trobaugh. <laughs> this year's top 10% honor students are Ethan Bach, Logan Brooks, Katie Baker, Alexander Chilinski, Dane Disher, Nicholas Miller, Joshua Sherbandi, and Connor Trobaugh. <laughs> the Core 40 with Honors Diploma is the most rigorous diploma that a student in Indiana may earn. Students must take additional mathematics, world language and fine arts courses, as well as advanced placement or dual credit courses. Further, students earning a core 40 with honors diploma must receive grades of C or better in all required courses and an overall GPA of 3.0 and above. This year's list is long. Summer Asher, Katie Baker, Lana Banks, Jacob Bain, Lucas Berlou, Ethan Bach, Logan Brace, Logan Brooks, Tyler Bryan, Alexander Chilinski, Autumn Chilinski, Ashante Combs, Jagger Cope, Rem Remington Crable, Dane Disher, Morgan Gannon, Aiden Hawkins, Isaac Hershey, Elise Kiesberg, Kayla McCullough, Aiden McIntarfer, Morgan Metroff, Nicholas Miller, Nicole Palmer, Jada Lynn Roanhouse, Janessa Ritter, Kaylin Schlotman, Joshua Sherbandi, Jillian Treat, Connor Trobaugh, Nicholas Wagler, Taryn Wills, and Madison Utes. Core 40 with Technical Honors Diploma is similar to the Core 40 with Academic Honors. Additionally, students must earn six credits in college and career preparation and a state-approved industry certification. This year's Core 40 with Technical Honors Diploma recipients are Kane Bohoff, Lance Book, Logan Brace, Tyler Bryant, Lolita Cassiano, Dakota Gibson, Sydney Chris, Carson McLatcher, Sam Burden, Nicholas Wagler, and Jacob Woodard. It is now my pleasure to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2022. Logan Brooks. Good afternoon. Welcome to Fremont High School. I would like to begin by taking a moment to thank everyone in attendance, from parents to friends and other family, to all of those within the faculty and administration. None of us would be here today without the unconditional support of each and every one of you within our small community. I would also like to make a special mention to Mrs. Miller, Mr. Sherbandi, every one of our renowned teachers, 
and all of our office secretaries. They work tirelessly each and every day with very limited recognition. So thank you all for what you have done to build up our youth within the community. For some, today is a day to reminisce about the immeasurable amount of memories and accomplishments during our 13 years of schooling, while for others, it is about taking a look forward to our bright futures to come. Whatever your ties are to the class of 22, I believe we can all agree that we need to look back to move forward. I have been a part of this illustrious class since I was in the fifth grade when I moved to Fremont, and I have felt the presence of academic excellence always surrounding me. Over the years, I have been pushed near my academic limits, not only by the rigor of the curriculum, but also by the intellectual capacities of those around me. Classroom debates, great comparisons, a never-ending desire to do better in everything that we pursue. Any one of my peers could be here right now giving this speech, but fortunately for everyone here, you have the privilege of listening to me. My peers are some of the most driven, intuitive people I have ever met, but that does not mean it has been all work and no play for the past four years. Whether it's been sitting in one of our booming student sections, roaming around the school with Aiden, jamming in class the Molly Crew and Guns N' Roses while I work on schoolwork, or questioning the state of the world with Mrs. Harris, I have had numerous fond memories during my time at Fremont. Even with the good times, hardships have been plentiful for each and every one of us. The global pandemic of COVID-19, along with the copious amounts of personalized issues that accompany the stresses of being in a high school setting daily, have made the past four years for the class of 2022 a roller coaster. However, looking back on all of those gloomy times, we have been able to build ourselves back up and to say we have finished strong would be an understatement, as we might be the single strongest graduating class the school has ever seen. Then again, your misfortunes are not what defines you. Your triumphs are. With these triumphs, our futures yet to come are extremely bright and exciting, as we have future doctors, accountants, lawyers, financial advisors, business owners, teachers, industrial workers, military members, and maybe even politicians in our midst. Today marks the end of one truly remarkable chapter in our lives, but opens the gates to pave a new path for the next chapter. And I am truly in awe of how far we have come together. And I cannot wait to hear where all my peers end up five to 10 years down the road. The curriculum of FHS and our experiences here have given us the means necessary to build a legacy for years to come. Thank you to the community of Fremont and all of my peers for making this a wonderful four years, and congratulations to the class of 2022. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the valedictorian of the class of 2022, Ethan Bach. While this does make me nervous, I will say Mr. Muller groomed me for this by forcing me to speak at every middle school event. Donuts for dads, muffins for moms, I would indubitably end up at the front with a microphone and no plan. At least today I was given the opportunity to arrive with a plan. I'd like to start off by thanking my parents. They have always supported my athletic and academic endeavors. The student I am today results from them emphasizing the importance of academics. I would also like to thank the teachers and administrators we have here at Fremont. We are lucky to have the staff here at Fremont. They provide us with the opportunity to attend one of the best school systems in the state. The personalized education we receive fully prepares us for life after high school. Give them a hand. The next people I have to thank are Mr. France and Mr. Saltzman. They help lead the high school fellowship of Christian athletes. Both of them, along with my wonderful girlfriend, Kayla McCullough, have always encouraged and guided me throughout my faith journey. Next, my sister Delaney. She requested she be mentioned in my speech so I decided to just say her name and move on. 
Honestly, though, I am going to miss Delaney when I go to college, the same way I will miss the rest of my family. And over the last four years, our grade has become part of my family. I have always had a close connection to the school. Growing up, Camp and Weirich were like uncles to me. I remember teeping Mr. Francis' house after his daughter graduated. Mr. Shravani would get up at 6 a.m. to take Josh and I and whomever else out on the lake tubing. I grew up in the school as well. Both of my parents taught at Fremont at different times. My middle school mornings were filled with finding the best hiding spots in the school and exploring places I probably shouldn't have been. The school has always been another home to me, and as I said earlier, our grade has become like my family. Academically, our class thrived in high school. I've heard many teachers discuss the impressive academic strength of our grade from top to bottom. Right now, I'd like everybody in the top 20 of our grade to please stand up if you know your class rank. All of these students had 4.0s or higher. Think about that for a second. The top 20, every single one of them had a 4.0 or higher. That's just really impressive, and I wanted all of them to get special shout outs. Athletically, we have had 51 kids participate in sports in high school. In pretty much every sport, we changed the culture. During our four years, we helped switch the Fremont High School mentality from hoping to compete into expecting to win. If my English class's math and memory were correct, our grade has eight sectional championships and a state qualifying wrestler. Many grades seem to either be academically motivated or athletically motivated, but we brought the rare combination of both. This is why I love our grade. Walking down the hallway, I could have a conversation with almost everyone and enjoy that time. The competitive spirit in our grade has carried over to every aspect of our life, leading to athletic and academic success. Our effort has never wavered, regardless of the event, whether it be an almost clean sweep in class struggles our senior year, perfectly constructed class floats, or chanting Nemo quotes in the volleyball student section, our grade has had fun as a family and enjoyed our time together. Unfortunately, that is what makes this time so difficult. When you look back to all the amazing moments of high school, the prospect of losing them hurts. But in reality, we will never lose these memories. I know everyone here will take the competitive spirit of our grade and the internal demand to be the best and spread it wherever they go. Whether it's college, trade school, or straight to work, I know everybody here is going to be the best version of themselves they could possibly be after leaving this high school. Nobody will forget how much this community means to them and how enjoyable these four years have been. I am extremely proud to be honored as the valedictorian of our class. I couldn't imagine a better group to spend my high school years with, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for every single one of you guys. Thank you. Fremont High School Choir, under the direction of Miss Betsy Fowler, will present Odd Ostra by Jacob Navarro.
Miss Fowler could not be here today. I promised her that I would have everything ready for the choir, and I failed. For that, I apologize, but it uh, raises my respect for our choir and our music students and our music department that the show still goes on even without Miss Fowler. And again, I want to thank you. By the authority vested in me by the Indiana Department of Education, I do here and now certify to the superintendent of schools that the class of 2022 herein assembled has met and successfully completed the courses of study to receive a diploma or certificate of completion. I do at this time present the class of 2022 to Dr. William Stitt, Superintendent of Fremont Community Schools. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Janessa Ritter, Secretary of the Class of 2022, to read the roll call for her class. We are all very proud of these graduates and hope to conduct a ceremony that will truly honor this great class. Everyone is here today to hear the name of their graduate. I would ask that you hold all applause and cheers until all the names have been read. This will give every parent, grandparent, and friend the opportunity to hear their name of their special graduate. After all the names are read, we will have the opportunity to cheer for this class together and celebrate their great accomplishments. Madison Snow Youth. Jacob Woodard. Alyssa Wood. Taryn George Wills. Jacob Wagner. Nicholas Michael Wagler. Sarah Maria Vigno. Sam Michael Verdon. Connor Michael Trobaugh. Jillian Marie Treat. Balin Russell Spurgeon. Megan Brianna Seiler. Joshua Cole Sherbondi. Kaylin Schlotman. Chandler Roy. Jada Lynn Roadhouse. Nicole Diane Palmer. Hinano Obata. Emilia Christian Morgan. Anna Luisa Morias de Carmo. Nicholas Henry Miller. Morgan Elizabeth Metroff. Carson James McLatcher. Isaac Robert William McFeely. Aiden Alexander McIntyre.
Lizette Athena Lopez. Elise Reagan Keithford. Sydney Chris. Isaac Scott Hershey. Caitlin Rose Hill. Aiden Joshua Hawkins. Dakota Lee Gibson. Morgan Gannon. Serena Ray Freed. Tanner Lee Friend. Dylan Joseph Friend. Brock William Friend. Brianna Sue Freed. Alexander Xavier Foreman. Jonas Rudy Ten. Alexandra Eve Isinger. Dane Avery Disher. Abigail Demerit. Braden Krager. Remington Crable. Jagger Braden Cope. Ashanti Kaylin Combs. Gavin Michael Klaus. Alexander Aaron Chilinski. Lolita Solana Cassiano. Keith Riley Case. Tyler Joseph Bryan. Damian Zhao Brandenberry. Logan Riley Brace. Lance David Book. Nevaeh Bigelow. Lucas Richard James Berlue. Buck James Bierman. Jacob Archie Fame. Kane Tyson Bohoff. Aiden Lee Berry. Lana Claire Banks. Summer Renee Asher. Autumn Amber Chilinski. Kayla Christine McCullough.
Ethan Kenneth Bach. Logan Galen Brooks. Katie Elizabeth Baker. Jacob Riley Allman. Janessa Jo Ritter. It is my privilege to certify the accomplishments of the class of 2022. Will the class of 22, 2022 president, Katie Baker, please come forward to assist the graduating class in the traditional change of the tassel. Will the graduating class please rise? By the power vested in me by the Board of Education of Fremont Community Schools, I hereby declare you as graduates of Fremont High School. Congratulations, graduates.
co coaches, and office officials. I found myself forming my foundation from the memories of my friends and family. Some situations led me to feel I needed to prove myself. I somehow misread the blueprint I was given of the six pillars. I went from wanting to be defined as those good characteristic traits to wanting to prove I was worthy of them. I cared for material items, grades, looks, awards, as I competed against my class for the top. It was an immature idea, but I gained a lot from my transitional time, and soon Mr. Moeller's rap sessions came and went. Within a blink of an eye, high school came, and I began constructing stories on my building. Almost every story took place at FHS. My life was filled with academics, sports, and friendships. One lesson I learned was the importance of independence. As I mentioned throughout middle school, I began to care for what people thought of my clothes, my hair, my smile. But it took me a moment to realize I did not need to care so much for what others thought of me. I had a series of people come into my life and gradually show me that the importance did not lie in the material things, but in who I am. I watched my fellow classmates slowly learn the same things, gain different traits, and build their stories. Not only who I am to you, but who you are and who I am to me, to ourselves. It does not matter how the world perceives you, but how you perceive the world. This was one of the hundreds of stories I added to my building, and like I said, I saw everyone around here add to theirs. But here we are. We find ourselves sitting. We have these fully constructed buildings, seemingly barren of any furniture, any purpose, any meaning. But the thing is, I don't see a single poorly constructed building sitting in front of me. You all have built something the world is not ready to see. Now it's time to do something with it. What do you want your building to be? What are your passions, your dreams, your hopes? Are you going to create a place for living, a place for thriving, or a place for rotting? I call for my class and all future classes to pursue all that is good and all that you aspire to be. Live up to your potential Carpe diem, and as the Autumn Polinsky would say, be your bad self. Never give up, class of 2022. I would like to recognize our faculty and staff and all the teachers, kindergarten through 12th, present today for their hard work and dedication. Please stand. I will ask the audience to remain seated until the graduates, faculty, and administration and the school board have left the gymnasium. Graduates, Please rise.